Hello, my name is Tanaya Shusawan, and I'll be talking about implication of Chimera in forensic DNA analysis. So, what is Chimera? Chimera is an organism that composed of two or more set of DNA, and this can happen in plant, animal, or humans. Human Chimera is often undiagnosed because they don't have any symptom or side effect. And when samples are collected from these individuals, they will be considered a DNA mixture. Chimera can be caused by natural situation or medical reason. In natural situation, there are abnormal fertilization and early embryonic error that happen in a very rare circumstances. However, chimera occur more often in pregnancy. And in artificial situation, there are transfusion and transplantation. Natural chimera caused by abnormal fertilization often occur during the replication of sperm and eggs. And this is a very fatal situation because the fetus will contain double paternal material or double maternal genetic material. If the fetus does survive, they most likely have side effects such as asymmetrical body part or slow development. Chimera that caused by early embryonic error often show no side effects and this has happened due to the merge of two fertilized eggs. The well-known one would be the vanishing twin, where the stronger twin absorbs the weaker one due to limited space. And an individual with this kind of chimera often have a certain part of the body that only contains the absorbed twin DNA. Chimera that happen during pregnancy is completely natural. This happened because the cell are exchanged between the mother and the fetus through the placenta during pregnancy. And these cells can travel everywhere in the body and it can reside in the mother up to a decade after the fetus is born. This in which can result in a three genetic material chimera or more. This is basically due to the fetus cells that reside in the mother can be transparent into the subconsequences pregnancy. A chimerism that caused by transfusion is often referred to the blood transfusion where the donor cell and the recipient cell are coexisting together in the recipient circulation. This can last up to months and there is also a possibility that the individual will contain three or more sets of DNA depending on how often they require the blood transfusion. Unlike transfusion, chimera caused by transplantation is permanent and there are two types, complete chimera and a mixed chimera. Complete chimera is basically referring to how the donor cells is only contained in the organ or tissue that is being transplanted into the recipient body. And mixed chimera is referring to how the donor and the recipient DNA are coexisting together inside the tissue. And this is referring to bone marrow transplant, where the bone marrow will differentiate into blood cells. However, it can also dif trans differentiate into another type of tissue, such as skin, nail, sperm, and saliva. So now that I mentioned all the causes of chimera, I also want to mention that there are a possibility that the chimera individual will contain two sex chromosomes which will result in both sex present throughout the body and this can happen in both natural situation and medical reason. In natu natural situation this can happen when a mother is carrying a male fetus or when a twin is absorbing another twin of opposite sex and in artificial reason this is basically because the donor and the recipient sex are opposite. Okay, finally I'll be talking about forensic DNA analysis and how chimera can negatively impact on it. So, what is DNA analysis? It is basically a useful tool for personal identification that can be used anywhere in the world. And it is based on the key assumption that all cells in an individual contain the same genetic material that different from another person. And this is in the exception of identical twins. And in order for the analysis to declare a match between the two DNA profile, all genetic markers must be the same and they must provide statistic analysis with it as well. So therefore I have established the codes, combined DNA index system that contain 
20 or more cortisol loci, including the sex determination markers. This is basically a criminal justice DNA data database that can be used to compare the unknown sample from the crime scene to see whether the suspect or the victim have been part of a crime before and see whether an individual can be identified. Okay, the effect of chimera on DNA samples. Um, chimera is basically considered a DNA mixture that often mistakes for cross-contamination due to DNA from two, different, two or more different individuals instead of one individual contain two or more set of DNAs. And this kind of DNA mixture often results in an inconclusive profile that cannot be used to identify the person. And even though the statistic analysis can be provided in this sample, it is not required by law and sometimes it is not useful at all. So, I'll be focusing on the chimera that caused by bone marrow transplant. And this is because the donor DNA can increase over time in the recipient body and it can also try to differentiate into another type of tissue that other than blood cells, such as skin, hair, nails, saliva and sperms. Genetic material from bone marrow transplant patients can result in many implications on the forensic DNA sample of interest. This is because the donor DNA will be mixing in with the patient DNA throughout the body, and it is not just blood cell. According to the study done by Sens Pina in 2019 on the post bone marrow transplant patient, about 90 to 100 percent of the patient blood contained the donor DNA, 6, 10 to 62 percent in skin, and about 30 percent in nails. Even though the even though the study didn't show any donor DNA material in sperm, the recent case of Mr. Long said differently. Mr. Long's case at the end of 2019 showed that four years after his bone marrow transplant, all of his sperm cells contained his donor DNA, which, um, according to Dr. Abidi, this is because of Mr. Long's vasectomy before the bone marrow transplant. So now can you imagine a rape case done by a post bone marrow transplant who happened to have a vasectomy done beforehand. So the sperm cell that corrected from the victim will contain a DNA sample that can be pointed to the wrong person. Okay, sex determination. This is basically one of the most important aspects of personal identification because it can eliminate half of the population poll. And the best way to identify the sex of the sample is basically to use DNA-based determination. However, this method becomes unreliable when the DNA contains both sex chromosomes. And to prevent any biases in the forensic lab, the analysis are not provided with any background detail on the samples. Thus, they cannot conclude whether the sample are from female individual or a male individual. And they cannot say whether the the sample is from a single source due to chimera or a different source due to cross-contamination. In conclusion, forensic DNA analysis is basically one of the most effective methods for personal identification. And even though not all samples collected from the crime scene can give a full profile because of degradation and mixture DNA, it can still provide some health information about the patient and the victim. And with the increasing number of chimera due to medical advancement, the forensic analysis must be aware and understand the negative effect of chimera on the DNA profile. Okay, so now we are at the end, and here are my references. Most of these references are from peer-reviewed journals. And thank you so much for watching.